Hey fourth graders, it's Ms. Frainer again, and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the menu options, which include the options of tutorial, notepad, mark for review, and strike through. So when you come to a question, you'll see these three lines right here, and this is your menu for each question. When you click on it, you'll see the sub-menu options that I mentioned, tutorial, notepad, mark for review, and strike through. If you click on tutorial, it will show you a quick little video of how to answer this type of question. As you watch through the video, there are different steps for what you should do. So if you're ever confused about how to answer a specific question, you can definitely go to the menu and click tutorial. The second option in menu is notepad. The notepad is exactly what it sounds like. When you click on it, it opens a place for you to take notes. So this question tells me that one bottle equals three-fifths liters, and I need to know how much um, water will fit in a bottle. So maybe I want to quickly take notes about what's expected. The notepad will come in very handy during your reading performance task because you're asked to take notes. Now you can save and close or if you don't need the notes you can click cancel. And because I click save and close when I go back to my notepad my notes are still there. The third option is mark for review. Take a look right here at number 14. That's the question that I'm on in this math test. Maybe I want to come back to this question at the end of the test. So I can click mark for review. Notice the 14 now has been dog-eared. When I get to the end of my test, it will be marked so that I know I need to come back and review it. Um, if I want to actually unmark it, maybe I've answered it correctly, I can click unmark review item and the number 14 has gone back to normal. Finally, I have the strike through option. This allows you to eliminate any answers you know it cannot be. So for this question, I know it cannot be seven and two fifths or eight and three fifths. In order to strike through, I just click on the options that I know it cannot be. If I want to unstrike those, unmark them, I simply will click them again. I can click outside and now I have three answer choices here available. You'll see very similar answer options, very similar menu options in your reading test. So on question number three, I have the option to view a tutorial to see how to answer this question, a notepad to take notes, the mark for review option, which again dog ears it and lets me know at the end of my test that I need to review it, and the strike through option where I can click answers to eliminate them. So this has been a tutorial on how to use the menu options. If you have any questions, let your homeroom teacher know.